过程导致的死亡量到底有多少？有没有人放生的人有没有去关注？所以想看你放的一百只里面就十只能活，那这个怎么叫做放生呢？根本就是放死嘛。台湾现在的放生已经走到了，就是说，有良心的做错事，有善意的做坏事。Even though Taiwan is only a very small island, it has an enormous biodiversity. The unregulated practice of life releasing may mean it is facing an irreversible catastrophe. The original intention of releasing lives was to set the captured animals free out of pity. It was meant to be a spontaneous act, but now has become a deliberate practice with many problems. Releasing animals, including many religious releasing activities, abandoning house pets, or farmers' careless releasing of edible species that are no longer profitable without knowledge of their habits and habitats, leads to ecological impacts and environmental harm. This morning, tens of thousands of milkfish are loaded onto seven big trucks to travel north from the fish farm in Tainan to Zhuwei, where a religious releasing ritual will take place. Votaries say that these fish will soon regain their freedom. Because我们一直连续下来，有没有杀业太重？啊，吃太多众生肉了。隔离了后期。就是他头脑已经有有伤到了嘛，有伤到，他昏昏倒，那个太久了，太久了啊，所以说现在哦，现在来做这个活动也
activities have been catastrophic to the animals. These avian passengers are either from Kaohsiung or Tainan. Their journey from the south takes 12 hours or more. Those who are lucky enough to make it will be residents of the famous Wanhua Bird Street. Wanhua Bird Street attracts those who keep birds as pets. Birds with colorful feathers or beautiful voices are caged here to be sold. The sparrows also benefit from this street, a convenient source of food, which probably seems ironic to the caged birds.这些信众很虔诚的去参与这个法师的法会这些鸟群完全没有人照顾它因为他们在法会办的过程中是很冗长时间太长了而且一放的时候可能是十点半十一点十二点接近中午的时候这个时候是不适合放的而且你放那么大
Then, people started farming American bullfrogs, and they soon became an item on the purchase list of life-releasing groups. 有一次在解剖在上课的时候，然后就学生跟我说：“泥蛙怎么嘴巴里面有卡了一个东西？”结果我打开一看，天哪，塞了一只台湾本土的贡德式赤蛙。所以他们到野外去，那他们体型非常的大，大概长到十五到二十公分。所以那青蛙本身来说，只吃活的会动的都是它食物，它是不管你哦，不管是哪一种，反正是活都会动，比它嘴巴小，都可能是它的食物，所以它就会吃台湾本土的蛙类了。一旦让它在野外，其实你要要让那野外生存了，而且有了第二代之后，你要让它请它离开，那是不太容易的事情，几乎是不可能的事情。This is Sun Moon Lake, located in the heart of Formosa, and here is another unwelcome guest, the Indian glassfish. The Kilauea sharp belly and Sun Moon Lake are just as important to the Shao tribe as the flying fish are to the Dao tribe. Providing artificial floating islands for the kilua to lay eggs in, and using boathouses and square nets to catch the fish, are traditions passed down by the Shao ancestors. The kilua fishing season has just begun this year, but these experienced inland fishermen have already been defeated by the Indian glassfish. The Chiaro as identified by the Endemic Species Research Institute, the Indian glassfish is a kind of small perch that was introduced to Taiwan as an aquarium fish, but has now found a new home in Sun Moon Lake. It is obviously connected with the practice of life releasing. In order to more effectively annihilate glassfish and to compensate the fisherman's loss, Restaurant owners, under the guidance of the Fishing Association, reluctantly remove glassfish's bones and turn them into a side dish. The Council of Agriculture also purchases harvested glassfish from fishermen. In addition to commercialized life release activities and careless releases by breeders, pets abandoned by owners who have lost interest in them are another form of random release very likely to hurt these pets. Because many的国家和区域，它有的气候都是不一样。像有些是比较高热、比较干燥型的气候，像台湾就它就可能不适合，因为台湾属于是海岛型，气候比较潮湿。如果你放掉，它会火，但是火不久，很快就短命。Owning a pet is a lifelong responsibility. Some alien species come from climates similar to Taiwan. So, when they are abandoned, they quickly adapt to the wild and become invincible without their natural enemies. The red-eared turtle is a significant example. This little fish looks like a small fish, but it's a big fish. It can grow to 30 feet. And the big fish will fall down. It will turn into a black color. It will become very dark. So many fish will turn into a big fish. It will turn into a big fish. And the fish will be very strong. It will be very strong. It will be very strong. 
，对，那、啊、一样它就是藻类也吃啦，鱼类也吃，所以在几乎你在外面看到，而且它生性有的大致以来都蛮凶的，有的会欺负到我们原生种的乌龟。一个生物进到一个一个它的不是它原来栖息地之后呢，它它当然会去跟当地的生物产生食物上的竞争，产生空间上的竞争。好，所以当它如果它建立它族群之后呢，它会通很有很有很大的机会会把原生的生物给取代掉。Researchers of the Taipei Zoo set up a net in Jingmei Creek for one night. They captured mostly alien species. Tilapia, red ear turtle, Thai catfish. Of all of these, the number of armored catfish, also called the garbage fish, is surprisingly high. 以像景美溪来讲哦，在大概民国七十几年的时候，琵琶鼠的这个族群数量啊，大概只占那个地方的生物的所有鱼类的大概不到百分之一。但是到九十年代，就是现在哦。啊，根据我们调查的记录来讲，它其实它已经占了那占景美溪的鱼类的总数量的大概大概四成左右。所以也就是说，景美溪现在鱼类里面有大概快有一半是琵琶鼠。啊，这个就是什么？这就是一个很典型的取代了。啊，它它把一些原生的鱼类给取代掉了。话说二十几年前呢，有一次我们在一个大的活动当中，那一次因为佛光山有建放生池。那，呃，当时候就有人拿乌龟啊，拿鱼来放生。那一次就发现说，呃，鱼呢就被乌龟吃了，乌龟呢就会弄得整个水池，很多的鱼类呢生命没有保障。因为其实每一种动物它都有它生活的空间。如果我们特别去花钱买来做这种仪式，看起来是满足我们自己，呃，要。种植福德因缘的心情，其实对动物啊是一种伤害，所以我们从那时候就再也没有办放生的仪式。大师就曾经说过，爱护动物就是在放生，甚至我们对于自己的生命的珍惜也是在放生。如果我们真的要放生的话，哈，我们真的要好好的去考虑，说我们放的物种呢，适不适合这个环境？一个是它自己能不能活下来，第二个是它会把这周围环境里面所有东西全部消灭掉。如果说，呃，我们是用一种爱护自然，或者是像我们今天这个活动这样子，是一个主动来来把一个。呃，自然环境维护起来，用这种方式的话，我觉得每个人都可以随分随力的做到。In 2003, Cixin Foundation, following the principle of sustainable life development, began work with the Forestry Bureau and Taipei Zoo on a wetland conservation project in Xinfeng Farm. The once desolate farmland is now full of energy and life again. Today, Cixin Foundation called on nearly 100 school teachers to have a class at Xinfeng Ecology Classroom. Participants helped to pull out weeds. In the afternoon, we found the eggs of apple snails. It is an alien species that has caused much agricultural damage over the past 30 years. 其实台湾普遍很多地方都有，啊，所以所以呃农户都叫叫他要求的，没有天敌，在台湾，但台湾目前天敌不多啊，有人养鸭子吃它。In the past, businessmen introduced apple snails for eating, but since they did not taste good, they were released on a massive scale. In farmlands, which led to an ecological disaster. There is a very important concept, which is that many animals are not destroying our natural environment, but we are destroying our natural environment. These animals are being released. Because the natural environment will form a natural ecosystem, which will create a food chain. Outside animals are not easily released. Loving animals is not the same as deliberate life releasing. But instead, an understanding of ecological dynamics and giving animals the help that they need. Is it 
就是民众来的话，我们会给他填这样的资料，就是说他们是在哪里捡到的。那留下这个资料，我们以后如果养成等它恢复的话，就是可以让它放回原来的地方。嗯，对啊。然后我们会用一些这样子的东西让他们保暖，这样子。那这个天气还好。像喂水啊，我们会滴在它旁边，然后让它直接，它可能就会直接吸进去。就像这样滴一些点在水会旁边。因为照顾商鸟，它其实就像我们照顾小孩一样，它其实是要有一些，呃，专业背景或是经验，才有办法照顾得好。我们有，我们有，呃，很资深的义工，然后很资深的兽医师，可以帮忙教这个民众他怎么照顾。住在山区，嗯，附近有很多，有时候有受伤的鸟，有时候有就是落巢的鸟，那常常会看到会捡到，所以我们也曾经捡过这样子的鸟，但是因为旧伤没有没有很好的成效，所以想到就来学习。There are currently 13 wildlife rescue stations in Taiwan that care for wounded animals. They will be released to their original habitats as soon as they recover from their injuries. This dog is from Nianli. 到明天应该可以回到它野外。我们野放的原则就是，在这个呃这只鸟捡到的地点，我们就在那个地点野放，就是在它的原来的栖地野放。其实目的就是尽量减少呃基因的混淆，还有就是野放回原来的栖地，对它来讲比较熟悉，比较容易存活下来。The rescue stations rescued nearly 400 wounded animals in 2004. True life releasing is all about giving the animals proper care and helping them find the way home. Random releasing has devastating effects on Mother Nature, which are not counterbalanced by our good intentions. Only by learning to respect lives and Mother Nature can we preserve the beauty of biodiversity. Let's see, there's a bird. Wait a minute, let's open it.